is Dave Wilson. We're here at SeaTac Airport, uh, and you were going to tell me what your role is here. Basically, my, my role is to look at uh, where where's the airport going to be in five years or 2020, kind of, uh, with technology. We're driven by advances in innovation within tech, the tech community itself and the airlines, their technology, and what passenger expectations are. And we do live in a very tech-savvy community with Microsoft and Amazon right next door. This is a ticket counter. So here's the, you're, you're printing out a bag tag or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. So when an airline has a new application, they come here and test it before it goes out on the ticket counters or on the gate. Mm -hmm. This is a gate. So here's how you can scan your your boarding, boarding pass. pass. Yeah. Okay, so. so you should put just face down. Alright. Cool. Done. And I'm on my way to the plane. And you're wondering, if you're really lucky, if you do this. You've just been upgraded to a new seat. Oh my gosh. So the airlines are looking at this whole self-service thing in a really big way. And then trying to anticipate what do we need five years from now is really the, the biggest challenge. The speed of Wi-Fi and the availability of access points is always being updated. So it's continually being changed. So literally today D is the best. Pretty soon A will be the best. And then D will be better again because we've had the new because it's literally it takes two or three years to get these major capital improvements. Right, the infrastructure, so the which a lot of people don't think about. Right, right how plumbing. important that is. Tell people what kind of priority it is for you to do things like Wi-Fi and outlets. Wi-Fi is probably my biggest one because the airlines really focusing on mobile devices mm -hmm. and customers wanting to use mobile devices. So it's not just about the customer wanting to work. It's it's for the whole airport to work better. Wi-Fi is right. important. We're looking for, the future you're going to see wayfinding, where we're going to have in-building GPS as a result of Wi-Fi. So that the device itself is going to give you pop-up notifications. Like you'll be sitting at a certain location, it's going to pop up and say, hey Dave, your flight is now boarding. Go to this gate because it knows how far away you are. Wi-Fi used to be one of the bigger complaints or the biggest and then was supplanted by power. Now we're seeing power yeah. demand. Yeah. In the past, if you didn't have Wi-Fi, you wouldn't turn your device on. Right. Now you turn it on and you want to make sure it's charged up. You want to charge it up for the plane. plane. So we're definitely seeing that, you know, this yin and yang of I've got Wi-Fi and now I need power. Right. Um, next thing is seating. So having good seating, I think, is the next, is the next one. Right, because you don't want the campsites around the posts that right. have the outlets. We have a technology vision, which is to be an early adopter of technology, but also do it in a very pragmatic way. But we're one of the more, I think, more advanced airports in terms of like U.S. airports. Because once again, I think Europe is ahead of us. Europe is ahead. Many times technology, Vegas is typically a big leader because they have lots of revenue. And also it's very tied to capital construction. So you see an airport doing a major construction, major renovation of a, of a concourse. If you're going into the ceiling, put in new technology. Basically you just kind of leapfrog based on construction. You know, these are really yeah. big multi-year projects in capital construction. Do you guys feel more pressure to be tech forward because it's Seattle? If this were, you know, I, I don't know, I think there's an element else. of pride and expectation that our passengers yeah. think, hey, we do have good Wi-Fi, we do have great power, mm -hmm. uh, this is, we should be using, like we use a lot of Microsoft products. Right. Um, the parking garage uses Windows servers, oh. and SQL Server, and yeah. image processing, so we use some, so every airport has, like, well, we have 180 applications. Right. Some of them were really innovative, some were kind of the same with everyone else. Um, and also, um, I go to this meeting in Portland called ACI Bit, and it's all the airport IT people. And we all get together and say who's doing what and mm -hmm. share ideas and we have conference calls about um, like Vegas and Orlando have Wi-Fi on the ramp. So okay. I have a conference call with, or with Vegas on the 18th about how to put, the best way to put Wi-Fi on the ramp. Thank okay. you so much, Dave. You bet. That was fun. All right.